investigators searching for what or who may have sparked a suspicious fire in the Upper Valley. Happened at an abandoned building on the Hanover Street extension this past weekend. WPTZ's Renee Wunderlich spoke to authorities and has the latest on the investigation. A fire that destroyed a vacant building is being called suspicious. Lebanon police and fire departments say they are looking into what caused this two-story wooden frame building to burn early Saturday morning. Uh, you know, when we have a fire that has in a vacant building with no utilities, no heat, no power, um, no, you know, what we would consider a, a you know normal ignition source, it, it's very suspicious. Firefighters say they believe the fire started a little after 1:30 a.m. and the flames could be seen shooting out from the second floor. The old brick-making building was just down the street from Lebanon High School. Um, we don't typically put people in that kind of a building. It's just there are a lot of hazards. Um, we have been out here dealing with some uh, uh, report of kids in and out of this property about three months ago and been uh, working with the property owner to try to get it either torn down or boarded up prior to the fire. Because firefighters weren't allowed inside to put out the blaze, they had to attack it from the outside. And Chief tells me they were able to put it out in a little under 15 minutes. Lebanon Public Works employees helped clear parts of the structure with a backhoe to help firefighters fully put out the flames. After a search, no one was found inside. Chief Chris Christopoulos says he believes there is a strong likelihood that if someone did set the building on fire, word will get out. Typically, when somebody does something like this, they talk about it, they brag about it, and you know, hopefully that'll that'll come to some resolution. Um, there were a few witnesses. I know that the police department and, and my fire investigators are, are following up with some, you know, potential witnesses. But beyond that, you know, we really have no clear leads at this point. The fire destroyed the building in Lebanon. Renee Wonderlich, WPTZ News Channel 5.